Hey, hey! Hmm. We're gonna give another 30 seconds or so. Then we're gonna get started in the evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Come on and join us. We got a good evening tonight. Mm -hmm. New meals tonight. New meals. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good meals. Sweet. Awesome, yeah. Come on, come on. It's in the group. Oh, there you are. I found you. It's oh, really God. bad when... I can't find you. That's right. It is. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. I got, uh, uh, I'm Jerry, and I got my gorgeous wife sitting across from me with her puppy dog eyes looking at my amazing culinary I'm skills. I'm just here for the cocktail. What we doing? Well, we, I love we, you. We, I know you do. <laughs> But before we get the cocktail, we gotta get some music going. I, I hear a little bit going. Oh, and I mean, it's annoying music. We can play it's annoying music. music. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what what kind of music do we have that we can change it up a little bit here. Isn't technology amazing? Mm. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. How about mm. some new country? Or do you want old country? All right. What do you want? You want old country or new country? I like old How about country. we start with uh, Walker Hayes? Oh, yes. He's a great one. <laughs> uh, Walker Hayes Fancy Light. We'll start oh, off with that. Go. How's that sound? As you're making me a cocktail. As I'm making <laughs> a cocktail. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with that. So tonight, tonight we're making uh, a gimlet. You know, I put out there, I hope you guys got your ingredients to uh, go along with us. And as all the, the nights go, let us know where you're from. You know, interact a little bit. I got my wife, Jennifer. She's monitoring the comments as I'm making the meal and the drink. Well, and you know, sometimes please, I get overwhelmed. Please. So if I don't see your comment and don't respond, please don't make offense. But sometimes I just miss it. Sometimes it miss. I just miss it. Miss sometimes. Sometimes it misses. Sometimes I'm just overwhelmed by watching sometimes, you cook. And sometimes she's I'm overwhelmed by watching me mm. cook. Did oh, y'all listen Jer to that? Jersey in the house. Jersey? Mm. We know people up in Jersey. We do. You know They're what? Like we should Jersey. send them an invite. We should send them yes, an invite. Yes, they would love this. You should send them an invite I, I right shall, now. I shall do that. Ohio? Right now. Ohio's not bad. We've been through Ohio. Yes, make the drink. I agree. Okay, let's make the drink. <laughs> Who said make the drink? User 886. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to make the drink. So we're making a gimmick. So we're going through this book, mm. Home Bar Basics, Cocktails at Home Anytime by Victoria Ferguson. Oh. Y'all go check them out. Modern Home Bar. She owns the Modern Home Bar. It's cocktail wear, not cocktail wear. Vintage cocktail glasses. Glassware and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Not, not cocktail wear. Mm. That's a clothing <laughs> thing, isn't it? That's clothing. Oh, we got some okay. Philadelphia. Let's change subject. Yes, Philadelphia. <laughs> so we're going to make this. This is a gin drink. So I said, you know what? We're making a gin drink. I'll wear my stupid gin shirt. I'll tell you the story about it while I'm making the drink. But we're going to get started. First of all, we're going to slice our lemon. Uh, lemon or lime? Patty lime. from Connecticut's back and she said, that's an old drink from my parents. Yes, we love these old drinks. We so, have loved rediscovering that, these old drinks. Did you say Patty? Patty. Patty, this 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 book is um it's a home bar basic. It's got classic cocktails in it. And and it's it's a great book. You really should pick it up. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go ahead and slice our lime, not lemon, green lime. Okay. I said lemon at first, but I, I meant it lime. It's lime. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slice this. I'm going to do two thin slices. And then we're going to cut one little slit in that one and a little slit in that one. Okay, now let's get to the drink. So you guys got your ingredients. Go along with us. We're gonna make, I'm gonna make two drinks, but I'll let you know what's in them per drink. Tonight we're doing the Gimlet. So Gimlet, we're gonna start off with our cocktail shaker. 
See, it's empty. <laughs> I'm not a magician, but see, it's empty. Patty says she's got to get the book. She says, love you guys. Yes, green is lime, yellow is lemon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. He's still learning. I'm trying to teach him. Colors and words, you know, I get confused every now and then. But Patty, we're going to start off with our gin. Now, we use the Bombay Sapphire. Yeah, that's my favorite gin. It's just a, a, it's a, it's a nice flavored gin. We have a local distillery here that uses the bare minimum of Gen juniper, but we really like this yeah, uh, Bombay Sapphire. Yeah, and I know Sapphire. there is this thing with pure gin lovers that this is, you know, this is like a, I don't know, it's like a debate whether how good this gin is or not, but I like it because I don't like to drink something that tastes like I'm drinking a pine tree. This is a good gin. So Patty, each drink will contain two ounces of gin. Yes, I know it's a strong gin drink, but did you know that in the mid 1800s, this was by law what was supposed to be served in the British Navy to uh, battle scurvy? Really? I did not know that until yeah, I read it in the book. I, I love this book. Yeah, we learn about I love this things. book. Okay, so we started off with our gin. Two ounces of gin per drink. Two ounces of gin. Mm -hmm. It's three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Now, they say fresh lime juice. I don't have enough limes to get, you know, an ounce and a half of lime juice. So, I'm going to cheat a little bit from my Trader Joe's lime juice. So I'm gonna put an ounce and a half in my mixer because I'm making two drinks, but it only takes three quarters of an ounce. But I'm gonna do an ounce and a half because I'm making two drinks tonight. And then it calls for simple syrup. Now we make our own simple syrup. We make it with, uh, tonight we made it with swerve. Yeah. So it's like I, a sugar alternative thing. I'm just trying to cut back on my white sugars white bread so we're gonna try it with now we do love honey syrup as well honey and syrup. would have replaced it with that but we decided to try it with the fake sugar and see how it goes so it calls for uh three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup whatever simple syrup that you want to use if you want to do the the sugar-free simple syrup or if you want to go all in and take the real stuff it doesn't matter Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, I'm gonna put an ounce and a half because I'm making two drinks, but one drink only calls for three quarters of an ounce. Like I said, we do our own simple syrup, whether it's a sugar simple syrup or a honey simple syrup, we do a one to one ratio. I know some people will do a two to one, uh, but we do a one-to-one, -one, whether it's our honey syrup or our sugar simple syrup. And we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Shake. Shake. <laughs> Whatever. No, i got to shake this, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Annie said she's all in, can't do fake sugar. Fake sugar. Then get the real stuff. Okay, but Annie, honey syrup is really good too. You should try that. I've replaced honey syrup with a lot of my simple syrup drinks. All right, so the gimlet. Those of you that are just now joining us, we're making a gimlet tonight. Gin, fresh lime juice, simple syrup, and it goes into a chilled coupe glass. Really? I yes. I often thought it was Tom Collins. Hmm. According to this book, that well, has Annie, a come stay at the house for a little while. I will make you a drink with honey syrup. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into our coupe glass, a chilled coupe glass. Doesn't that look nice? For some reason, I thought this had club soda in it, no? No, no. club soda. Hmm. We're gonna... Oh, are you going to fancy and make it a garnish? Look at look that. At that. Guys, I'm not a bartender. Okay, so Patty's asking, do you drink everything you make? Yes, Patty. I drink everything I make. All right, so I'll be honest. Last night, he was not a huge fan of the... Mocktail mojito. Yeah, the mojito. He wasn't a huge fan. He didn't drink that, but he's a whiskey drinker, so... Guys, this is a gimlet. 
course, I have heard that my brother-in-law said one time that I would drink turpentine, but that's not true. It's got to taste good. So this is, this is, a gimlet is a very strong gin-based sour cocktail that is also tart oh, due good. to its lime content. Oh, that's good. And like I said before, by law, the gimlet was used by the British Navy during the <laughs> mid-1800s. Apparently my brother-in-law has, he's checked in. Great. <laughs> All right. Can't talk about you when you're here. How about our meal tonight? Can we talk a little bit yeah, about our meal can. tonight? Uh, I mean, she, uh, again, she's saying the tequila, the tequila mojito. I, I will try that because I'm a tequila We will girl. try that tequila that's, mojito. That's on my next list. She is a tequila girl. I am. I love tequila. Me, I'm a whiskey guy. She's a tequila girl. So, Patty, what's your favorite tequila? I'm curious because I've tried a lot. What's your favorite tequila? So tonight, we're changing things up a little bit. You know, we've done, the last few videos that we've done, we've done Green, Green Chef. Chef. Mm -hmm. Tonight, we're going to change it up, and we're going to go with HelloFresh. So, bye-bye, Green Chef. Mm -hmm. HelloFresh. You like mm -hmm. you like Well, that? next week will be something different. Something different. So, we, what we've done is we've taken a lot of these meals, and they're all basically the same format. Directions. I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. This new, this kitchen stuff is a new journey for me because I don't do this type of stuff. For our first 26, 27 years of marriage, I never did stuff in the kitchen. She did it. And, and so we got to doing these meals and I'm having a blast doing them. And that's why I'm doing these videos because it shows people I'm an ordinary person. Oh, yeah. How easy it is. Brennan, it is a good thing to put pictures. He needs the pictures. I do need the pictures. <laughs> Good call on that. Okay, I agree, Patty. It needs to be the silver tequila. That's my favorite as well. But if you haven't tried, is it The Rock? Terramana? Terramana. So I'm a big fan of The Rock's tequila Terramana. It's very smooth, has a good flavor. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right, so tonight. Uh, Carlos, ordinary what? Ordinary what? Carlos uh, said ordinary. Tonight. What? Tonight. We're doing HelloFresh, and we're making the oh. Honey Time Pork Tenderloin. <laughs> oh, Patty wants me to spell that for her. Okay, let me look it up. <laughs> it's uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Yeah, it's The Ooh. Rock Tequila. Look at this. So, all these meals that we do, we have uh, several meal plans, and we just rotate through the week depending on what their menu is. So, each of these have a few menu choices that you can choose from, to bring your meals. What the best thing about these meal plans are is we, Jennifer and I, we actually save money mm -hmm. doing these meal well, plans fact, from going to the grocery store. Right, let, me, let me real quick spell Terramana for Okay, Patty. spell Terramana. Right, Terramana. T-E-R-E-M-A-N-A. -E Just like it sounds. Terramana. What the... Carlos, I where what? Carlos makes no sense. WFC mean. Oh, we're all live name. at Fresh. Hey, Fresh Brew. Listen, mm -hmm. if you guys ever get to the Myrtle Beach area and you want a good coffee joint, you go oh, to Fresh Brew. We're all loudspeakers. So okay, <laughs> you go to Fresh Brew. <laughs> Fresh Brew is a good coffee joint right there in the heart of Myrtle Beach. You say that Jerry sent you, they'll charge you double for the coffee. Listen, no, it's a non-profit coffee shop. They do a lot for the community, and you can go in and have your favorite coffee and also buy a coffee in reserve for somebody that might not be able to afford it. So you should really check them out. Okay. Enough. Enough about fresh fruit. They serve coffee. Tonight? Well, today, they, th this morning they had muffins. T tonight we're making honey thyme pork tenderloins. Look at that. <laughs> I'm so excited. Woo! I'm excited. Okay. So our first step is to roast potatoes. Now, <clears throat> we got to heat the oven. Oven's heated. 450. 
You've got my doodle board on there. Where is, what's his name? Bird Dog. Big Call Papa Bird Dog. Big Papa. Big He's got Papa all these names. He's not yelling. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I've got it all. You're going to warp it. I am not going to warp it. You're going to warp it. He made it so nice. I'm not going to warp it. You're going to so, warp it. There we go. Okay. Calm down. Noodle board's off. We're good to go. Now, let's get to the potatoes. Because that's our first mm -hmm. step. Mm -hmm. We got to... Dice the potatoes. Uh, the wife is always right. I'm like, pa pa Patty's my favorite. Patty. Patty's my Patty. favorite. <laughs> I, I had it covered, okay? It, it was good. <laughs> it wasn't going to warp. It wasn't going to warp. Uh, oh, there's Big Papa. Big Papa. He he heated the, the oven with the noodle board on top. <sighs> okay. Again. While you're still worrying about the noodle board... Mm -hmm. I'm going to go on to dicing these potatoes. So we're going to dice the potatoes because that's my step one. Step one, dice the potatoes after you heat the oven. So we're going to go ahead and dice them. I really should be reading Brennan's comments because she's just really insulting you. Although yesterday what? he didn't know the word chef and kept saying cook. Oh, George, George, they're seeing George. He's a real star. He's a real star. You have to use. Okay, like I said, guys, I'm an ordinary guy. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a chef. I I I take care of my fingers. Okay? My fingers are, are very important to me because that's how I Is that how the potatoes are supposed to look? look? I gotta dice them. Okay. I got I gotta dice them. Okay. I'm wait, I'm so, wait. I'm supposed to dice these. <laughs> so, look, I'm dicing. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Sweet, isn't it? Okay, Annie, I, I, yes, I agree. Remove the noodle board needs to be added to the directions. <laughs> I'm going to start writing it on the top. <laughs> hey, easy on the noodle board. You know what? Someone made that for me and they went through a lot of work. Like that was the prototype and they went through a lot of work and you're trying to mess it up. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to mess it up. So we've had some questions uh, on some of these videos and after the videos. Yes, we are in South Carolina. We are along the coast in the Myrtle Beach area. The Myrtle Beach area, but we are from Conway. Conway, we are which from is Conway. We're not the, from Myrtle Beach. We are from Conway. The county seat. My wife was uh, born and raised here, mm -hmm. and I bettered her <laughs> life by entering it. Uh, Carla says the slogan mm. needs to be "Easy on the noodle board" and make merch. Me easy on <laughs> Arkansas. What? what, Brennan? Arkansas? No, Arkansas. She's moving to Arkansas. No, she's moving to Nebraska. No, she's moving to Nebraska. So we're gonna we're dicing these potatoes. Yes, Olivia Newton John did pass away. It's very sad. I was a huge fan. I was a huge fan. I'm a fan of Grease. Well, I was a fan of her before Grease. I was a fan when she was what? singing Let Me Be There. Let I don't know. I, mean, I was little, was. but Okay, Brennan, where is Kami? Okay, it's it's just west of Myrtle Beach. Fine <laughs> Myrtle Beach on the map. <laughs> It's a big paper thing with a bunch of little colors and lines and everything. Find Myrtle Beach. Now go 10 miles west and you'll find Conway. Okay, no. Brennan knows. She came to see us when we were marrying. So she had oh, to pass through Conway. She had to pass through to Conway. To get to us when we were marrying. Just Sorry. saying. If you come from anywhere off of 20 or 95, you have to go through Conway to get to Myrtle Beach. Um... Torna Forte is correcting you. It's not 10 miles exactly. It is 10 miles. I don't care what Waze or Google <laughs> or Apple Maps say. It is 10 miles. Uh, see, other Conway girl chimed in. Conway, South Carolina. So, right now, I'm dicing these potatoes. <laughs> Take me Man, a little while. Y'all are picky. No, not Conway, Arkansas. Brennan, you know where we live. She's being extra. 
She is being extra. We need to get to know her husband. Oh, we should. We should tell her, We should tell him some things. We Ooh. have some pictures. We do have pictures. And videos. Hey, Brennan, can I meet your husband? Yeah. Oh, I about lost my finger on that one. Please don't. I, I came very close to losing a digit. <laughs> You'll never show him? You know, I'll find him. I'll find him. I've got videos. I've got the video of how you tried to murder my fish. I about lost a digit, and you're worried about a fish. <laughs> so, we've also had some uh, comments and questions about if... <laughs> she said he wonders what she gets on here to pester Jerry. So, well... <laughs> we, we've had some questions uh, uh, offline about how Jennifer and I interact, if that's normal or <laughs> descriptive. Let me tell you what. <coughs> it's normal. Okay, if you knew us in person, which I highly, highly recommend you know us in person because we're fun people, <laughs> uh, just ask us. I mean, this is this is what we do. It's uh, just that. I know it's supposed to be all about your cooking, but it's I'm really, all about I'm, my I'm cooking. really getting into the comments. So we have somebody from Arkansas. Hello, Arkansas. Hey, where at in Arkansas? We know people in Arkansas. So, Brennan's husband says, don't bother these people. Carlos says, these people need to be bothered. <laughs> Brennan, I got to say, I miss you so much. So, do we do we still have Jersey in the house? West Memphis, Arkansas. West I have no Memphis. idea where that is. West Memphis. So, we, we lived in Monroe, Louisiana, the northeast part of Louisiana for a few years. That's where we met Brennan. And... We visited quite a bit in Arkansas. Oh, another Jersey person. And our son-in-law is actually roundabout from Arkansas. In kind of a way. His family is now living in Arkansas. Yes. So, very familiar. So, it's interesting how small and large our worlds are. Mm -hmm. Where where at in Jersey? I'm sorry. Didn't say I'm trying to make sure. I, I'm, trying to, in the house. I'm trying to make sure I don't cut my digits here. Carlos was in Tennessee. We have not talked about Tennessee at all. Who was in Tennessee? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm really bad with the the names. Who who just said you're the only ten I see? You you're fired. <laughs> I'm the only ten you see. Tell me you're talking about me. <laughs> tell me you're talking about me. Because I'm trying to tell my wife that I am a 10. I am a 10. She says a 4 all day long. Uh, Torno Forte says they're from Jersey. Specifically Jersey mice. Okay, go away. <laughs> oh. Alright, so I live 6 miles from Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, we've been to Memphis. We have. Well, we've been through Memphis. Yeah. All right, so briefly, hey, I finally right. finished dicing these potatoes. It took me forever. I didn't want to cut my digits off. So, let me wash my hands real quick. All right, so what we're going to do is <laughs> dice the potatoes, toss. Oh, we got to get a cooking sheet. So, it says that I need to grease the cooking sheet, but you know what? You guys have been with me before. You know I don't grease the cooking sheet. I put out a silicone mat. just makes clean up easier and <laughs> I do the dishes around here that's right you heard it that's ladies right. and gentlemen and I do the dishes I think everybody should do the dishes hmm. so you know who gonna, doesn't do dishes? who doesn't do dishes teenage boys don't do teenage dishes. boys don't do the dishes you know we have two grown daughters and a teenage boy that lives in the house still. And he's a slob. Uh, so we were asked if we've been to Graceland yet. Okay, so Ooh. funny story. I wanted to go to Graceland, but the only time we went through Memphis is when we were taking our daughter to college or coming back or visiting. So I fell asleep one time and 
and I woke up and he pulled in front of Graceland. So I got to look at Graceland and see the Lisa Marie, but I didn't get to go in. But I would love to go to Graceland. Where is Patrick? Patrick is at marching band practice. Brendan, Patrick's a senior this year. Can you believe that? He's graduating, hopefully. Hopefully he's graduating and don't fail. He's a smart guy, he'll graduate. He's smart. So, all right, so my step is I got a dice of potatoes, I drizzled with salt and pepper. Remember everybody. Aw, uh, so. Remember, salt and pepper a pair. The, the woman not on camera has a nice laugh, is what I was just told. Thank has a nice, that. you do have a nice laugh. You have a great smile to go along with that laugh. I get bonus points for that, by the way. So I'm gonna put these <laughs> in the oven and we're gonna roast 20 hopefully, to 20 yes, minutes. Hopefully he graduates. We're gonna roast, ho uh, hopefully. We're gonna roast 20 to 25 minutes, but we're gonna do some other things. Hey Google, set a timer for 11 minutes. Look at that, first time. Brennan, Brennan, are you, Brennan, are you trying to start trouble? Okay, so meanwhile, we need to get our pork out. <laughs> Brennan and Carlos do not need to be connected together on live. This is bad. <laughs> so, we've had some questions about my shirt. <laughs> Brennan said, let's take bets on the fire alarm. Yes! <laughs> so, we've had some questions about my shirt and the gin. Mm. Why I wear my stupid gin shirt when I'm making gin drinks. It's because gin and I don't get along. We we don't get along. No, they you get along too well. We we and don't then, we don't get along. I don't get along with you, engine. The the problem is is when when I've had more than one or two gin drinks, I wake up the next day and look at my phone or the house or the car or wherever I am, and all I can say is stupid gin. All right, so I need to answer a question because Carlos is answering and she's going to get more information than the rest of the family wants to know. So, someone asked how long we've been married. Great to see you still having fun and laughs. So, Carlos said they have three kids. One is almost 26. We've been married 27 years. We've been together for all, October 9th will be 30 years since our first date. We are high school sweethearts. Carlos, what's wrong with you? I said, just so you know, Carlos, the one that's responding, is the middle kid. She's what's she needs, saying? She just needs some attention. But she can't have any attention. We're doing a cooking show here with HelloFresh <laughs> and Honey Time Pork Tenderloins. If she wants to have a Carlos show, then she can go and have a Carla show. But the two followers that are with us want to do this meal. Uh, Torna Forte says, are those filet mignon? They are not, they are pork tenderloins. <laughs> so really what I'm doing is I gotta pat the pork tenderloins with the paper towels and I'm gonna season them. But what I've learned through these meals, remember I'm not a cook or a chef. What I've learned through these meals, that is my drink, Missy, what you're talking, and I finished mine. Is that I gotta dry the meat before I put it on the pan. Don't ask me what the science is behind that. I'm sure that somebody much smarter than I am can explain that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan. <laughs> okay, so can somebody tell me the name of the person? And I know it. I, I know probably who it is. I don't want to make an assumption. Who just said everything is the Carla show? Somebody give me a name, please. I think I know who it is, but I'm so, not sure. If you've been with us before, I have no nonstick cookware in the house because I tend to burn things in my drill and grinder. Kalena, Kalena, okay, I just had to make sure. I thought that's who it was, I just wanna make sure. So I spray my pan a little bit with cooking spray before I put my oil in it. Okay, Torna Forte, what is Generational tenderloin. What? A generational <laughs> tenderloin. All right, you young people need to get off. <laughs> okay, so I got my pan going. It's heating up. I'm gonna pat my pork, and then I'm gonna season it. <laughs> Kalina, 
know what? You know what? We should do a live from Fresh Fruit. We should do a live we from Fresh should. Fruit. We should. We should. I like that idea. <laughs> okay, Tornaforte, you want the inheritance tenderloin? Um, I'll uh, cut his liver off. Uh, okay, I got a can of Vienna sausages waiting on you. Just say it. There we go. All right, so we're gonna heat the oil, and then we're gonna, so we're gonna sear this a little bit, and then it finishes cooking later on. This really looks good. I know. I'm telling you, this really is good. I'm really excited Guys, look at that picture. Meal. If my, if my outcome is anything close to that, I'm telling you. So some of the other questions, while the pan's heating up, let me answer some of these other questions that we've had with these meals. We're not endorsing these meals. We can only explain what we've done with these meals. And we've actually, Jennifer and I have actually saved money doing these meals because like we said, our, our girls are grown and out of the house. Our boy, his teenage boy, he's never home. So we got to where we were still making large meals and wasting a lot of food in our refrigerator where we were able to get this. And guess what the side effect was? You still didn't eat anything I made. We lost weight. I agree. <laughs> I agree with that. We lost weight because it's portion control. It is, yes. So, but next week, I think that, okay, so I've been very upfront about our cost with this because we do not support any in particular right. company. So, the last couple of weeks we've done Green Chef. We chose Green Chef because they were the easiest to find low carb options. And when he lost all of his weight, it was because he gave up Look at that. bread, Look at that. pasta, and beer. Boom. Check no that more out. No more belly. No more belly. I used to have a belly that went way yeah. out here. We're not gonna talk about it. Way but, out here. Look at that. But we started doing these home meals and we're gonna go but next week back to one of the originals that we did before. And it's, um, Home Chef. Home Chef. Home Chef. So, we have found that Green Chef is the best one if you want to look for something as far as keto meals. Like, we're not keto, but we do kind of a low-carb thing. Low-carb, yep. Now, HelloFresh is the best kind of overall if you want to do. So, Green Chef is the most expensive. You get four meals for $119 is what we pay. So, HelloFresh, we're getting five meals for about the same price. Next week, we're getting six Home Chef meals. Kalina said, I'm watching my girlish figure. For $109. $109. $109. I mean, so, how, how can you go to a grocery store, get six or five or six meals, even two meals, for $109 for two people? Right. And Without any with, waste. With Home, home Fresh, you can do calorie conscious. Or fast and fit or whatever but also we found and this is how I switched him over to these meal plans because he used to have such huge portion oh, sizes huge portion so his spaghetti plate where I would get a little bowl and have spaghetti he would use a freaking pie plate and call it a spaghetti bowl but with these it measures his portion sizes but home Fred home home chef home chef that we're doing next week their portion sizes seem to be a little bit bigger, but next week their meals look amazing. So I cannot wait for these meals next week. I'm excited. Okay, so I just put my pork on the, the fryer. We're gonna sear it a little bit. And while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and trim our green uh, beans. Somebody said do 10 push-ups. 10 push, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a meal. So um, we're trying to- Jump and jack. And then we got, I'm, I'm trying to make a meal here. So we gotta mince our garlic. <laughs> I can't be doing push-ups and stuff. I'm uh, uh, Torna Forte, ten thousand likes to finish her drink. No, I'm finishing it because he's too busy. He's, he's, she's got my drink. I'm drinking coffee. She's got my drink. So we gotta mince the garlic and trim the green beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and mince <laughs> the garlic. <laughs> so, Pat, Patty from Connecticut says I'm nicknaming you two as J and J and Crazy Cray. <laughs> Crazy Cray. I'm okay with that. You know what? You call me whatever you want. You call me whatever you want. 
just call me, okay? Mm. Just call me. Uh, yeah, so I, I run a senior center, and I hear every single time I'm there, well, you call me what you want, just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> don't call me late for dinner. You are right about that. Man, this garlic is strong. <laughs> hey, you got it, bald eagle. Who said that? Uh, oh. Just guess who said that. Oh, I know who said that. <laughs> I'm going to have a nice All right, I chat. really want to be her husband. I want to show him the videos. We've got so many videos of her. Is he around? Is he around listening? We can, we can talk to him. We should have talked to him before he married you, actually. That's right. I didn't approve this. Right? I didn't, I didn't approve this. I mean, she got married without us. She did. I didn't even get an invite. No. Did we get an invite? Oh. Did we? I don't know if we got an invite. I'm going to say we didn't get an invite. All right, so I missed my garlic, okay? I missed my garlic. Oh, Carla's got an invite. <laughs> so, Patty, right now, what I'm oh. doing now is I'm getting ready to um, trim the ends off of my green beans because then that's going to go on my plate in about one minute when my Google timer goes off. So I need to go ahead and get those trimmed up. Mm. Patty says, Jennifer has the best infectious laugh. Thank you, Patty. She has a great smile too, Patty. She's like a fine wine, <laughs> As Patty. long as you didn't beat up the garlic, mincing is good. <laughs> right? That was Patty. So, see, I have a hard time with this because I'm a southern girl. And you know what we used to do? Snap them. We just snap them. Well, Why I'm are you not, cutting them? I'm, Just I'm, snap them. Because dancing. my directions say I trim the ends. So I just got to tell a story. So I am truly Southern. Grew up, you know. I, but they don't know. You got to tell them. Okay, yeah. I grew up like our, my, my life all summer long growing up was all about putting up vegetables for winter. Hey, Google, stop. So when we first started dating, the first thing he wanted to do was go pick beans with us. I want to go pick beans. I, I do wanna, not. I want to see. I this do wife. not recommend city boys <laughs> picking beans. So we took him to go pick beans, and we're out there picking. And again, we're in South Carolina. Butter beans, the speckled butter, butter beans, purple butter beans are if they're light colored, those are lima beans. They're not butter beans. We do spe purple speckled butter beans. So we're picking beans and all of a sudden he goes missing. And my mom's like, where'd Jerry go? And we're looking, Jerry got in the trunk of the car because he was freaking out because there were bugs out there. There was bugs. Okay, yeah, so Brennan, Patrick still calls shucking corn, peeling corn. I've tried, I've tried. I've tried, but it's peeling corn. Ooh. Check those potatoes out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our green beans onto this cookie sheet with the potatoes. Gonna add those on there. And then we're going to roast them another 12 minutes. But we got to add salt. Ooh. They're not yes. done yet. He's still cooking. So we're going to add salt and pepper. Ah, there it is. Brennan, you won the prize. <laughs> so that's what happens when you have a teenage boy who drops pepperonis in the oven. <laughs> hey, Google, set a timer for 13 minutes. Uh, yeah, so Patty, those were wonderful days. I loved sitting on the porch with my mom and my grandma and my family, and we were shelling beans and shucking corn and putting stuff up. So I love those days. The pork. Torna Porte says season your beans. Torna Porte says what? Season your beans. Okay, so the pork, now that we've got it seared and stuff on the pan, it goes on to a cookie sheet. So now it's gonna go on to a, a cookie sheet and we're gonna throw it in the top rack of the oven for roughly 12 minutes, which I've already got my timer set. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull. <coughs> Holy cow, excuse me. Yeah. 
That did was you, a pepper. Did you sneeze on my food? No, I didn't sneeze on the food. I sneezed here in this area. All right, that is no not serve safe correct. But I'm only serving you. I'm not serving the public. Well, I don't want it's your, me and you. I don't want your sneezes all it, over my food it's either. It's okay. It's okay. We uh, Yes, Kalina says cover your nose okay. here. Okay, Kalina, you know what? Me and Jennifer swap spit all Stop. the time. Ew, but not snot. All right. Those look really good. They're not done yet, but they look really good. I'm going to throw those on the top rack of the stove. Yes, Patty. These, those were the good old days. I okay. can remember. So, my daughter, Carlos, that keeps chiming in. A f several years ago, before she graduated from high school, we were shucking corn. And she was whining about helping us. And I was like, well, how do you think that you're going to have food to eat? And she's like, this is why I'm going to move to the city so I don't have to do this stuff. Well, look where she ended up. In the south? In the south. Okay. So we've got the, the pork is in, this, in the oven on the top rack. <laughs> All right. So Patty's taking your side. That's right. Somebody needs to take my side. <laughs> she said... I just wish I was there. You guys are so much fun and real. The cooking will take care of the snot. <laughs> There's no snot. Hey, 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 hey. So Heather, are you Heather from Florence? I'm, I, I'm asking because I can barely see the itty bitty face. Florence, Italy? No, no. Florence, Alabama. Yes, no, Florence. You, Florence. You work with her. Mississippi. No, Florence. You work with her. Florence, South Carolina. Florence, South Carolina. Yes. I don't, I've never heard of it. Whatever. She says she done got you with the serve safe. No. <laughs> <laughs> we did take the class together, but I'm not serving the public. I'm not serving the public. Okay. Oh, see? And then Brennan says he gets stuck in the mustache. Okay, yeah, we're all about the sneeze. You guys. <laughs> And this sneeze. Okay, I inhaled some pepper. I inhaled oh, some pepper. Heather says you fail. What why is this gotta be about ganging up on me? This is this is my journey. Okay? You don't gang up on me. How about let's 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 answer some questions, okay? Well, We've had well, some they're questions. Trying to, they're trying we, to talk to you we, about your speech. Yes. I'm gonna answer some questions that we okay, had. Okay, so Patty wants a visual of us too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak it. Okay, Patty, I have been in the pool and I don't look very pretty. She's always pretty, Patty. But I'm gonna come in. See? <laughs> She's always Just pretty. Just so you can see my face. Um, but yes, we've had some questions. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we've had some questions uh, Heather, offline. Heather's taking back your credentials. My credentials? My credentials are just fine. Baxley! Baxley! Hey, Baxley! I know you! You know him. I need to get some stuff from his farm. Hmm. I don't know about a farm. The problem is, is I follow directions, Baxley. I don't cook on my own. I don't do stuff like that. So... Let me get this pan going because we got to start making our sauce. This sauce that we have. So I'm going to start making this sauce. We're going to drizzle some oil in the pan that we use to cook the uh, pork. <laughs> uh, Patty, like 30 minutes ago, I also look like a drowned Irish rat. But... I don't know. I guess my hair's dry a little bit. Drowned Irish rat. Yeah. My foot. Stop. Okay. So I'm going to add the garlic. Oh, look at that. Thyme. <laughs> Can you hold on? You know what? If somebody asked me right now, do you have thyme? I would say yes. A whole pouch of it. Okay. So we have a new person saying, what are you making? Tonight we are making, we're doing a HelloFresh meal. The honey thyme pork tenderloin. It's a it's a, a decent meal and it looks great. I hope the I hope it tastes just as good. Brennan, you know what we got we got we're gonna have to block her because she's like that's a dime bag. A dime bag. Oh my god, <laughs> So I'm gonna add the 
garlic and thyme. Man, that garlic <laughs> smells really good. Smell that garlic. Okay, let's go ahead and add the thyme and the garlic. <laughs> You know, there are some people in our travels over the years that I really miss, and Brennan is really one of them. She drove us nuts. We had to actually change our locks because of her, but she never went away. Like a wart. She kept coming back. Oh, time is awesome on pork. Okay, we'll find out. Time is what? Awesome on pork. We'll Ooh. find out. That, that's that's the, one of these things with these meals that, you know, I'm not a cook or a chef. I follow directions, and I'm really hoping. Look how that looks. I really oh, hope my meal so turns out. So, we have somebody on here that just ordered their first HelloFresh box, and it'll come next week, and this is in their box, Oh, too. good. Good. Um, we've done HelloFresh before. Yes. And uh, I don't think we've been disappointed in any of these meals. I don't think we've been disappointed in any of the meals. There have been some we didn't love as much as the others. So what surprised me the most, I don't remember what company it was, but the grilling cheese. Oh, that would be uh, Green Chef. I had no idea how awesome, instead of a piece of meat, a chunk of cheese was. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. So Patty says, so is Rosemary, but she can be pushy. Okay, well, I like pushy women. I'm just saying. All right. I need to hang out with Patty. Patty, you're so far away. We need to hang out. So we got to add the, the stock concentrate. So I've got two of these. Now, if you guys have been with us before, you know how these things are. If I was just to cut it here on the corner on my cutting board, if you can see that, it squirt all over the place. I don't like that. Okay, then I have to clean up a mess. No, I don't like cleaning up a mess. So what I do is I take the corner and I do one full rotation. So I got one full rotation and then I cut corner to corner. No mess on my cutting board. And it gives me a little spout. Check You're that so out. smart. I am smart. <laughs> Uh, I, Torna Forte says sauce pro tips. Oh, I'm glad I made your day. You made mine too. Quarter cup of water. I need a quarter cup of water. So quarter cup of water, the stock concentrate, and the honey. This is really starting to mm. come together. So I'm gonna it put that in there. I don't know what's going on, but it smells good. It I smells. don't know where Danny's at. Where's Danny? He's not here. It smells. Danny Great. is not here. He must be working. And he should be. I mean, he's our son-in-law, supporting our daughter. He should be working. I'm not going to fault him for that. But he's usually here. He's probably there just silently watching, making sure that I do the right steps. Or and he's he'll, probably he'll critique cook, me he's later. probably cooking your daughter this like gourmet four-course meal. That How do you have a gourmet four-course meal when she's a vegetarian? I... What? Can you have a four course meal? Yes. I don't know anything about that. They've proven that. So, same thing with my honey. I'm going to take the tip. Is it hot honey or just regular it's honey? It's just regular honey. Okay. I'm going to do one full toe rotation and then corner to corner. I'm going to cut. Yes, it is. I so, call it an all purpose knife. Yes. I got a question. Did you just figure that on your own or did you see it somewhere? I figured it out on my own. Hmm. Or I could have seen it somewhere. But I figured it out on my own. I am pretty sure. I am 98%. Well, Britton says back in the day, she was under the influence of our daughter. So, uh, what? I really feel like y'all were influencing each other. So, I've got this. And then, so once this gets hot, then we're going to add a tablespoon of butter. Butter? Butter. Butter? That's butter. Where are you from? I'm from all around. No, you're from the Midwest. Y'all don't say butter. Butter. You said butter. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put that on low. You were perfect, Brennan. Brennan. Oh my God, Brennan. All right, you know what? I'm going to get out the videos. Just to get out the videos. So, now, you as I'm making this sauce, 
Can I get back to my cooking show? Well, I just want to. Can, I, I, I just want I, to understand. I, I have a video sauce. of Brennan sticking her finger in her mouth and in Logan's ear. She was the instigator. Can, she was not instant. Can, I, can I talk instant. about the sauce? I, I, I just can want I to talk say, about the sauce? I want to talk to Brennan's sauce. Okay, but I'm going to talk about the sauce. Okay, talk about the sauce. Put, so as the sauce cooks, I got to scrape the bottom because I'm using the pan that the pork chops were just cooked in. So I gotta scrape it to make sure we get all the little bits, almost like a, like a, what do you call it, a gravy. You don't eat gravy. No, it's not a gravy, it's a sauce. You see how that works? It's a sauce. Okay. <laughs> it smells real good. It really does. Look at this. I'm gonna dance a little bit. Look at that. Mm. All right, yeah. guys, he's Woo! dancing. Carlos, your dad's dancing. Yes! They learned it from you. Woo! Get there. Yeah! Is that good? Not good. Okay. Smells real good. Uh, Danny says, I'm here. I know you won't miss me. Well, we did because everybody was asking where you were at. All right. So I know I got to add the butter somewhere. Uh. Mm. All right, so after I scrape the brown bits from the bottom of the pan, it actually says scrape the brown bits. That's the good stuff. From the bottom of the pan. If you cook more often, you know that's the good stuff. And then I got to stir in a tablespoon of butter until <laughs> melted and season with salt and pepper. So, you, you know what the nice butter. thing is? Look, did you know that the butter is measured already for you? The butter? So, the butter. I don't even have to get like a measuring cup or anything. I just... Look at that. I just have to cut that line right there. That's all I gotta do. So I'm gonna easily cut that line. I've got a tablespoon of butter. Okay, but. Isn't it cool? Okay, but as the wife, here's my issue. Yes. You keep doing that with new butter things. Well, so it doesn't like, tell me I gotta use used sticks. We have like a thousand now sticks hey, of butter with only a tablespoon missing. Hey Google, stop. But it doesn't say that I have to use used stuff, so I'm just following directions. Okay, but in the butter container, there's butter. Why did you get a new stick? The butter container, this thing that says butter on mm -hmm. it, see that? Oh, mm -hmm. you see that? It says butter. There's no lines. Okay, but. There's no lines. So how do I know where I cut? I do. Why are you wasting it? There's no lines. I want the lines. Uh, lines. Denny says leave no the lines. paper on the butter. I can't. I can't no leave the paper lines. on the butter. I can't because then it's messy. I can't leave the paper on the butter. You should just know how much a tablespoon of butter is. I know. I know when I look at a stick of butter how much a tablespoon is. I don't. Eyeball it. Lines. Eyeball it, chef. Lines. Lines. Uh, that's what Danny said. Okay. Eyeball it, well, chef. How am I supposed to eyeball it if I don't know what it is? I'm not a chef. Danny, I'm not a chef. I'm not a cook. This is me following directions. And it, why are we talking well, so much about maybe, butter? Well, maybe you need your stick of butter that goes in the fridge that still has that on it and leave my stick of butter alone and stop opening new ones. You know, we're getting hung up on the butter. Because we have like 10,000 sticks of butter that okay. you cut into because you have to do it that way. We only have 8,448 sticks mm. in the freezer. Measuring spoons, what, right? Would that okay. not be a good idea? Uh, Annie says, I know what you're getting for Christmas, a butter ruler. <laughs> Okay, I'm not kidding. This is really an argument in our house. Like, this is really an argument in our house. He will open up a brand new stick of butter just to get one tablespoon. Yeah, because the lines. How many agree with me? You gotta have the paper and the lines on the stick of butter in order to measure it out so you don't have to dirty something else or get some other piece of tool out to measure the tablespoon. All right, Brennan says no one. No one agrees with you. 
There's somebody out there. Uh huh. And there's. <laughs> I feel like we should give Britain some kind of award. <laughs> Remember, teenage boys <laughs> drop pepperonis on the bottom of the oven. And yeah, smoke detectors go off when pepperonis <laughs> get too hot. So I'm going to change the subject from the butter. Okay. Okay. I'm going to answer some questions. Okay. We've had some comments and questions. Okay. I will go back through because there's a lot of them. Not tonight. We've had oh. these after what, hours. Oh, well. Yes. We are a married couple. Mm -hmm. Yes. We do have three wonderful children. And yes. I Wonder did. Wonderful? I, okay. Wonderful may be a stretch. They're pleasant. They're pleasant. Yeah. And yes, I did marry up. I'm clearly, clearly a three that married a ten. And yes, it can happen. Living proof of that. <laughs> Brennan says it's all Patrick's fault. He's not here. That's cool. I blame Patrick. I'm going to check the pork chops. Yeah, because we don't want them... Who, who was it that this meal was coming next week? Because that looks amazing. Now, if you missed out tonight in the beginning, we made a gimlet. And a gimlet is a gin drink. Are we going to make another one? No, we're not going to make another one. I can't have another one. It's the stupid gin. I, I, I didn't ask if you were having another one. I can't have another one. I didn't ask if you were having another one. <gasps> It was a. It was more. There was more. Mm. Because I know you, <laughs> Annie. That's your fault. This is starting to really smell. Oh, love you too, Brennan. Come back. Where should I go? Um. Okay, so Torna Forte wants to know what a giblet is. A giblet? No, he said giblet. Giblet. That's not what we had. That's not what we had. We had a gimlet. Did I say giblet? <laughs> Probably. No, a gimlet. Did I say giblet? <laughs> no. If I said giblet, that's not what we drank. <sighs> we drank a gimlet. G-I-M-L-E-T. Gimlet. It's a gin drink. Now, am I saying that right? Gin. Gin drink. Don't do that. Don't don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't. That's not attractive. Don't no, do that. Don't do that. You gonna lose all your followers. gin. Don't don't do that. I've only got two on here. No, actually, right now you have twenty four, but you had one hundred and twenty four, and then all you right. did that, and then well, all those that are sticking around, we're getting ready to plate. We're getting ready to plate this. I'm gonna pull the pork. <laughs> Annie says, cooks, does dishes, and makes extra drinks. You're turning into a six. You're, you're almost That's a right. six. That's right. That's right. I'm turning into a six. Did you know I also do the laundry? What am I now? Well, okay. You have to do the laundry. You wash it, dry it, and then you put it in a basket. Okay, we're not talking about half. Okay, I throw it in the washer and, and I put it in the dryer. But you put it in a basket and throw it in the bed, and then I have to iron it. I put it in the wear. wash and I put it in the dryer. Doesn't that count? That counts. No. Oh, that counts. You have to put it away as well. No. It counts. Mm. Oh, you know what? This is gonna be very good. Okay. That's a cute so, little pork chop. So, those of you that are sticking with us, okay? The three of you that are still here, mm -hmm. let's hey, do hey, the plating. Patty, are you still there? I'm just curious. Let's do the plating. So, what we're going to do is we're going to layer this. We're going to cut these little slices. Mm -hmm. We're going to layer this. That looks really good. Really, really good. Okay. Smells amazing. Smells amazing. I'm hungry. Okay. Smells amazing. Mm. Let's get some of this on here. Oh, you can't just bite that right now. I'm not plating. I was hungry. 
You can't just do that. Um, I can't see the username, but she says, Howdy, cute couple from East Texas. East Texas? Wow. We've been through Texas. We're what not from it? Arkansas. Torna Forte, stop making drama. So, what, what part, what, what city of Texas? What city in Texas do they say? No. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to try and do my best mm. with this plate. Man, this looks good. Well, look how pretty it is. I'm working on it. It's hot. Okay. Now, here's the good stuff. This is that honey thyme right mm. over the pork. I'm so excited about this meal. Me too, I like the song playing too. I'm impressed that you can hear it because I can barely hear it look at that. myself. Guys, look at that. See, it's not that far off. See that? That's not that far off. That's great. Great. Now. Oh, you're going to do it all at the same time? Oh. Mm -mm. Is oh. It is it good? This is my plate. You're eating off this is my, your plate. You're eating off my plate. Your plate. Everybody, tonight, thanks for joining us. Hello, Fresh. Honey thyme pork tenderloin, mm -hmm. and we made a gimlet. We made a gin drink. Join us again tomorrow night. I do these Monday through Friday. We're doing another HelloFresh meal. Guys, thank you. Thank you very much for keeping in, and, and, and those of you that want to try these things out, it's easy. I can do it because I follow directions. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us.